we were looking for this earlier this morning. I heard we had a little technical glitch. We're going to re-record it right now. Welcome to the real edition of the Scouters Mountain Morning Messages. It is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Welcome to Wednesday. Hopefully all of you are off to a good start on this Wednesday morning. It looks like a nice day outside, a little overcast. It's still a good day to come to school if your last name starts between O and T. We'll talk about that a little bit while, a little in a little while. We'll also talk about the talent show coming up. Lots of things happening here around the end of the school year as we roll on here on the morning messages. So, Mr. Long, what do we need to know today? Well, as I've mentioned before, it is our last full week of school. This is the last time you go to school. Well, you don't technically go to school, but you have school Monday through Friday. Remember, next week is just Monday through Thursday. Thursday is the last day of school, and we're planning a big event right here at school. Hopefully, you can make that. Remember, last time for our parade, we went out to you. We went out in your communities and drove through your neighborhoods. This time, we're asking you come to us so you can hop in your car, parade through our parking lot where all of our staff members will be here. They will be cheering for you and clapping, playing some music, dancing, waving. If you want to decorate your car, you certainly can. That is a week from tomorrow. Next Thursday, June 11th, will be our parade through the school grounds. Did you hear about the virtual talent show? Yeah, right about now is when you'd be trying out for the Scouters Mountain Talent Show when I'd be watching your act to make sure you're ready to go up on stage. Well, obviously we can't come to school to do our talent show. So we're gonna do it online. So there is a link you can go to, it's right here, https flipgrid.com slash coyote talent show. Now, some of your teachers have put this in their own Google, Google classrooms. You don't have to, it's just for fun. If you are interested in showing off your talent, then you can go to that link. Put a video in there of you playing the piano, playing a different instrument, singing, I'm not sure, doing a magic trick, whatever you would like to do to be a part of our talent show, there's your chance right there. So check that out, the Flipgrid Talent Show. I also sent some information home to family, so check your email for more details about how to access the talent show if you would like to do that. And continuing today, in fact, it's happening right now as I look out the window because I'm recording and this is the second time. Families can come to school to pick up student materials if your last name is O through T. Let's look at that schedule. So Monday was last names that started with A through G. Yesterday was H through N. And today is O through T from 9 to 11 and from 4 to 6 p.m. You can come in and get your bag of materials. Everyone has some materials here, things that were left in their desk. If you are A through N and you didn't come the last couple of days, that's okay. Come today or come tomorrow to come get your things. We have a bag full of things. This is your only opportunity this week. Otherwise, we store those for the rest of the uh, school year into the summer, and you'll have to wait till the fall to get them back. We aren't going to be delivering it to home. So if you're O through T, last name begins O-P-Q-R-S-T, come in today between 9 and 11 and 4 to 6. We'll have your bag for you. So hope to see you and lots of smiling faces today. If you have any questions, you know the email address to get a hold of me by now. It is a long C at nclac.k12.or.us. You can always get a hold of me there. Always love getting the videos and the photos from you. Always fun to do. So please keep sending those in as we approach the last week of school. Who in the world is celebrating a birthday this week? Well, we went over these before. Layla is celebrating a birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, Layla. Caitlin is today. Happy birthday, Caitlin from first grade. Noah tomorrow in second grade. Jacob Squire celebrating a birthday on Saturday. And then we have quite a few on Sunday. Micaiah on Sunday. Dean is on Sunday. Harley from kindergarten on Sunday. And Sahana all celebrating a birthday on Sunday, June 7th. June 7th, a big day for birthday at our school. So congratulations to all of them. Hopefully you got something in the mail from me celebrating your birthday. If you are next week, we'll get those up there. And if you are summertime, some of you have asked, we'll try to get all those names up on our screen for the morning messages for our summer birthdays who are normally recognized during a Friday afternoon meeting, but we'll have to do them up on the screen here. Okay. Our challenge from last time. Remember that challenge? Monday was National Say Something Nice Day. Yeah, it was for real. That's a real day. I looked it up. You could send Mr. Long a picture or a video of how you were recognizing National Say Something Nice Day. Now let's take a look 
at what we had. This is Kate Jansen. She sent in a nice Google Doc to me. I can always rely on her. And in fact, I see she is featured in the Happy Valley News. Check your newspaper if you get that. You'll see Kate Jansen in there. She says, I would like to see something, like to say something nice about Mrs. Rowley, my teacher. She is amazing. Yes, she is, Kate. She always takes time to encourage me. She always has a smile and a friendly hello. Thanks, Mrs. Rowley. Nice job, Kate Jansen, able to send that one in through a Google Doc. That was very nice of her. There's Henry, who had something nice to say. I think he wrote that to his grandmother. You are the best. Uh, I'm loving you more than love you. Uh, always great to see Henry up on there. It looks like Henry got a haircut too. That's what Mr. Long needs right now. Henry looking good. Great to see him up on the screen. Now we had some videos that were sent in as well for Say Something Nice. There is Quinn who's going to be in first grade and little sister, or sorry, there is Cash going into first grade. I got them confused. Quinn going into kindergarten next to him. Let's see what they have to say today. For my daily assignment. I wanted to say to my teacher, Mrs. Wheeler, that she's my favorite teacher and I love learning from her. And I hope I get her next year. No, you might, Quinn. We'll have to figure that out. We'll see which teachers you're going to be getting next year. So Cash, finishing up his kindergarten year. Quinn, little sister, getting ready to go into kindergarten next year. Great to hear from the two of you. Great job participating in National Say Something Nice Day. Who's up next? It looks like it is our friend Tyler from fifth grade. What does he have to say here? Let's see. I'm going to miss you, Miss Burnett. You're an epic front office lady. Yeah. Yeah. And then he zooms off into the distance. Tyler, with a message to Mrs. Burnett, who, yes, sadly, happy for her, but sad for us, is moving on to Texas in the middle of this month. She moves to Texas. And Mrs. Zach will move over as our head secretary. And the new assistant secretary will be coming very soon. We'll have that announcement for you very soon. So a little bit of a change in our office. We're sad to see Mrs. Burnett go, but very happy for her that she gets to spend time with her grand, her granddaughter in Texas. Who else had something to say on Say Something Nice Day? Oh, there's Hannah. Let's listen in to see what Hannah had to say. Okay, I want to say I earned for, from distance learning. I would like to buy lunch for... For Mrs. Burnett. Oh, that would be very nice of you, Hannah. Now, it was kind of hard to hear because we had the birds chirping so loudly. But Hannah has been a part of our morning messages since we started these back in early April and has earned enough Howl tickets to have a lunch purchase for her. And she's donating her lunch to Mrs. Burnett. I'll have to tell her about that. Mrs. Burnett doesn't know that yet. We'll see what she chooses for lunch. Maybe we can get a video of her enjoying her lunch. Thanks to Hannah who donated that. Very nice of her. So what is your challenge today? Well, here's what caused the delay this morning. Because first, I played a video of this famous song and uh, found out about copyright law. You can't do that. You can't reproduce a video on the internet and play it again. So I recorded it and was going to play it as part of the morning messages. And it said, uh-uh, can't do that. That's copyright. It's so a very famous song became the number one song in the country on this day way back in 1967. Now, 1967, that's before Mr. Long was born. That's probably before almost all your parents were born. What in the world song is that? Now, the first time I tried to do this, I actually played the video. This time, I'm just going to show you a picture. Do you know who that is? That's kind of hard because it's a little blurry. It's a picture of a video. That is Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, who on this day, her song... R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. Respect became the number one song. Now, if you want to know more about that song, look that up. Respect by Aretha Franklin. You'll find it. Great song. I'm sure you've heard it before. It became the number one song in the country on this day in 1967. What you want? Baby, I got it. Yeah, so I want to know how are you going to show respect this week, at least until Friday, when you can send in your video. So R-E-S-P-E-C-T, how are you showing your respect? Send me a picture or a video. I would love to see that. And look up that video. Maybe you can lip sync to it a little bit. That's what I was doing the first time I tried to record this, but I found out, well, you can't play a recorded video inside a video, which is what we're doing right now. So not allowed. That's okay. We're re-recording it right now. We'll get these up onto the morning messages and to Mr. Long's website very soon. All right, let's get to the mystery staff member. As soon as you know, there's the email address. Of course, you know that by now, where to send in your photos or your videos of you showing respect 
up until Friday. And of course, we want to show respect for the rest of the summer too and into next school year for sure. That mystery staff member, who was that mystery staff member? Remember the big hint was she often has to clean up messes at our school. Let's see what Ariana had to say. She had a guess. The mystery staff member is Mrs. Martinez. Mm. And what I like about her is that she makes our um, at school fresh. She does fresh make the school clean. fresh. Absolutely. Right. Say thank you. Thank you. Good job, Ariana. Great submission there. So she thinks it's Mrs. Martinez. There's Claire. What does Claire think? Who does she think it is? Let's see. To my staff member is Mrs. Martinez. He's the cleaning person. She is the cleaning person. That's right. So we'll see. Is it Mrs. Martinez? Do we have some other guesses? Oh, here's Atlee. Watch out on this one. She has her gymnastics clothes on, so that means it, probably a gymnastics move's coming. Watch out. Hi, Mr. Long. I think the mystery staff member is Mrs. Martinez. Whoa, what, what? A one-handed cartwheel. Nice job, Atley. Always fun to see her. She's showing off her gymnastics move. I heard her gymnastics gym now back open. She's able to practice some more. Great job by Atley, who also thinks it's Mrs. Martinez. Who else do we have here? Well, here's Tyler again with a guess. Let's see what he has to say. I think the mystery staff member is Miss Martinez because she's always cleaning up other people's messes. Yes, she is. Nice move there at the end, Tyler. I like that. So was it Mrs. Martinez? We have any other guesses? Oh, that's right. Sydney has a guess. Let's see what Sydney has to say from kindergarten. I know the mystery staff member is Mrs. Martinez because she cleans the classrooms and the cafeteria. Yes, she does. She's very busy doing that and probably doing that right now, cleaning up classrooms. Probably not so much the cafeteria. The cafeteria hasn't been used in a while, but great guest, Sydney. Who was that mystery staff member? Let's take a look at what those clues were. Does not have her own classroom, so that works for Mrs. Martinez. Favorite fast food, Chick-fil-A. Okay, that's a good spot. Good spot. Favorite hobbies include biking and playing tennis. Her favorite snack was fruit and nuts. And here was your big hint. Did you spill something? Well, you must confess, she cleans up every mess. Who was the mystery staff member? The answer, why lots of you had it correct. It was Mrs. Martinez. Nice job by all of you. Let's take a look at where Mrs. Martinez is right now. A live look in the school. Oh, she found a classroom and she has written on the whiteboard wishing our fifth graders good luck as they head on to middle, middle school. She's written goodbye in Spanish. Adios on the board. Mrs. Martinez, we always love seeing you around the school and appreciate everything that you do. She was our mystery staff member. So who is going to be the next mystery staff member. Let's look at the clues. Classroom is on the second floor. Ah, so this is going to be a teacher. We haven't had a teacher in a while. Favorite fast food? She says, no, no, no. She doesn't eat any fast food. She doesn't eat that. Hmm, if you have this teacher, you probably know that, but this teacher tries to stay away from fast food. I wish I stayed away from fast food. That's probably a very, very healthy alternative. Favorite hobbies include swimming. Hmm, that's a good clue right there. Swimming, walking, or coffee with friends, okay? Favorite snack are nuts and gummy bears. Hmm, I don't know if I would try nuts and gummy bears together, but I do like both of those snacks for sure. Here is your big hint on this mystery staff member. Thinks the beavers are cool you know, and can dive into her very own pool. Okay, so as a beaver fan and has her own pool at home. Now, if you've been watching the videos throughout this distance learning, We've seen a video of this teacher. She was actually cleaning her pool in one of those videos. Who is that mystery staff member? If you think you know, and I can verify from your teacher that you've been doing your distance learning, some of you have been doing so great on this. That is two more Howl tickets for you. Remember, you can send in your answers right there to my email address. I love getting email from you and your families throughout the week. It's one of my favorite things. Always brings a smile to my face. So send that answer there. All right. Time to wrap up this show with, of course, what we always wrap it up with, the joke of the day. Some of you have been sending me more jokes. I need some more. I'm running out of all the jokes that we have. This one comes from Claire Berman from third grade. And Claire asks, let's see, what do you do when you come to a fork in the road? Well, what do you do when you come to a fork on the table? Well, I pick it up and I use it maybe to itch my forehead, comb my hair, I don't know, scratch my nose. What do you do when you come to a fork in the road. What do you do, Claire? Let's see what the answer is. 
Of course, if you came across a fork in the road, you would pick it up. Of course you would, just like I picked up a fork right here. Great joke, Claire. Great job. If you have a joke of the day, remember to email it to me. You know how to get a hold of me by now. There's the email address right there. I'll put this fork down. There we go. And let's wrap this show up. Great job, everyone. Thanks for being patient because I heard the first morning messages. They didn't quite go through. I tried to explain why. We can't play Aretha Franklin's video within a video. Not allowed. That's copyrighted. But we can sing it. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That went to number one in the country on this day back in 1967 on June 3rd. Of course, today is June 3rd, 2020. Have a great day, everyone. Show your respect. Send in those videos and photos of how you're doing it. Get your distance learning done so you can go out and enjoy this nice weather. Have a great day, everyone.